Koheleth, Ecclesiastes 2. I said in my heart, Go to now, I will prove you with mirth. Therefore, enjoy pleasure. And behold, this also is vanity. I said of laughter, it is mad. And of mirth, what does it? I sought in my heart to give eth myself unto wine, yet acquainting my heart with wisdom, and to lay hold on folly, till I might see what was that good for the sons of men, which they should do under the heavens all the days of their life. I made me great works, I built me houses, I planted me vineyards, I made me gardens and orchards, and I planted trees in them of all kind of fruits. I made me pools of water, to water therewith the wood that brings forth trees. I got me servants and maidens, and had servants born in my house. Also I had great possessions of great and small cattle, above all that were in Yerushalayim before me. I gathered me also silver and gold, and the peculiar treasure of kings and of the provinces. I got me men singers and women singers, and the delights of the sons of men, as musical instruments and that of all sorts. So I was great, and increased more than all that were before me in Yerushalayim. Also my wisdom remained with me. And whatsoever my eyes desired, I kept not from them. I withhold not, rather withheld not my eth heart from any joy. For my heart rejoiced in all my labor, and this was my portion of all my labor. Then I looked on all the works that my hands had wrought, and on the labor that I had labored to do. And behold, all was vanity and vexation of the Ruach, and there was no profit under the sun. And I turned myself to behold wisdom and madness and folly. For what can the man do that comes after the king? Hath even that which has been already done. Then I saw that wisdom excels folly as far as light excels darkness. The wise man's eyes are in his head, but the fool walks in darkness. And I myself perceived also that one event happens eth to them all. Then said I in my heart, as it happens to the fool, so it happens even to me. And why was I then more wise? Then I said in my heart that this also is vanity, for there is no remembrance of the wise more than of the fool forever, seeing that which now is in the days to come shall all be forgotten. And how dies the wise man as the fool? Therefore I hated eth life, because the work that is wrought under the sun is grievous unto me, for all is vanity and vexation of the Ruach. Yea, I hated eth all my labor, which I had taken under the sun, because I should leave it unto the man that shall be after me. And who knows whether he shall be a wise man or a fool? Yet shall he have rule over all my labor, wherein I have labored, and wherein I have sowed myself, rather showed myself wise under the sun. This is also vanity. Therefore I went about to cause eth my heart to despair of all the labor which I took under the sun. For there is a man whose labor is in wisdom and in knowledge and in equity. Yet to a man that has not labored therein shall he leave it for his portion. This also is vanity and a great evil. For what has man of all his labor and of the vexation of his heart wherein he has labored under the sun. For all his days are sorrows, and his travail grief. Yea, his heart takes not rest in the night. This is also vanity.
There is nothing better for a man than that he should eat and drink, and that he should make his soul enjoy good in his labor. This also I saw that it was from the hand of Elohim. For who can eat, or who else can hasten hereunto more than I? For Elohim gives to a man that is good in his sight wisdom, and knowledge, and joy. But to the sinner he gives travail, to gather and to heap up, that he may give to him that is good before Elohim. This also is vanity and vexation of the Ruach.